everyone, welcome back to the Lipstick Legend. Um, today I'm going to do a makeup uh, tutorial for you based off the brand e.l.f. I was in Walmart yesterday and I was buying a, a water filter because mine broke and I thought well why not try some of this makeup. It's super affordable. I think I spent, uh, how much did I spend? I think I spent 60 bucks Canadian dollars which is about 40 quid um, on this entire look for my face. Um, I didn't buy foundation because I didn't have my colour but I did buy concealer so I'm just going to do my face with the concealer but um, I'll show you the things that I got as I'm as I'm doing the makeup but it seems super affordable um, and it's vegan and cruelty flip free or claims to be vegan and cruelty free so I'm just going to give it a little whirl see what we uh, see what we have here so I didn't get a primer um, because I thought I'd just try everything without a face primer first just to see how things sit on my skin so this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer um, and I got it in Fair Beige, sounds about right. Um, okay, so I'm going to start under the eyes maybe, really big applicator, okay, let's see I've got a huge zit there, that's nice, let's cover that up, uh, a bit there, a bit there, a bit there, right. I am going to use my flat 235 brush from MAC just to blend that out. Feels like a nice consistency actually. Uh, yeah. I think this colour might be a little bit light but It'll do. We'll do for today. Uh. <laughs> All right like the consistency of that. I think the wand is a little bit too big. The the doe foot applicator is a little bit too big. It feels um uh, it just feels a little bit too big on my face, especially under the eyes. But that's a small complaint. It actually goes on goes on quite nicely. Is this it's called a camo concealer? Um I mean I guess if you put more on it would cover more of my imperfections but I'm just going to leave it as is. I don't want to go too heavy on the old foundation. Um, okay, so the next thing I got is Wow Brow. So this is Wow Brow. Wow Brow in a, it's in a taupey colour. It's a nice little small applicator. Let's give it a whirl. They didn't have, or I couldn't see, like an auburn colour. But I did get a, like an auburn coloured pencil. I like how small the brush is. And I actually don't mind the colour on this too. If I wanted to go like way more natural with my eyebrows, I don't mind that. Um, don't mind that colour at all. So I did I did find a pencil. Um, it is the Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Um, you've got your spoolie on the one end and then your colour on the other end. With It's a retractable. And this one is definitely a bit more auburn. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Actually it goes on really nice. I mean it's in a point right now. I don't know how you'd keep it in that point. But the point does give you um, the opportunity to draw little hairs in. I don't mind that, that's quite nice. Oh. Anastasia, you may have a run for your money there. Oh, I should come out in the shower. I've got an itchy ear. I've got water in the ear. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind that actually, because that light taupe gives it a nice base colour, and then this just defines a few of the hairs. So, I like that a lot. 
Okay, so the next thing, what else did I buy? Here we go. Um, I purchased the e.l.f. contour palette. I didn't buy any eyeshadow palettes because I thought, well, this was quite a nice palette to be able to do um, all the things with, I thought. So let's have a look. So I'm going to take my 239 brush from MAC. I'm going to take this colour right here and just sweep that over my lid. Oh, I actually bought an eyeshadow primer. Here we go. Forgetful eyeshadow primer. This is good because I don't have any other eyeshadow primers at home at the moment. Okay, it's nice and emollient, so that spreads over the eyes really nicely. Um, it almost feels, I don't think it's got silicone in it, but it almost feels like there's quite a nice slip to it, so it creates quite a nice smooth base for the eyeshadow. Okay, back to the eyes. I'm going to choose that, like, it's kind of like a bone colour. Just go all over my lid. does apply quite sheer um, then it, it is supposed to be for your face but just seeing how much multi-use we can get out of one palette because it's always handy to have one palette and not 45 um, I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm just gonna sweep through my crease just with my uh, Smith 235 blending brush It's a nice crease colour for me. It's kind of like really soft, warm brown. It does take a fair bit of um, this particular palette to get um, more of a more dense colour, but that's all right. I'm not going for anything that's super dram. Okay, great. I'm going to go underneath my eyes now, just with that same colour, just to give us a little bit of a shadow. A nice colour if you've got blue eyes this is actually a very nice palette option for a full face I think just because of the colours. Um, I'm gonna take the um, darker brown which is this one and I'm just gonna go in the outside edges of my eye just to deepen that just a tiny bit And then same thing again, I'm going to go underneath with that darker colour, just right at the root of my lashes. I'm not going to blend it out, so I'm going to let that warmer colour be um, on the phased out part of the, the colour of the blending. So this will be closer to my lashes. It's nice, it's very sheer. Okay, let's try it on the face as it's supposed to be for a contour. Let's see what I've got here for that. Okay, so this is my Delium uh, brush. I have to find out the number for you guys because I've used it so much I've worn off the number, but it's um, it's like a dome shape, huge eyeshadow brush or highlighter brush or contour brush. And I'm gonna use that contour color, let's see. Okay, I like this straight away and I'll tell you why. It's very sheer. So especially if you're fair um, and you, you're a bit nervous about contouring, like 
like my kind of fair, it's quite hard to make a mistake. Um, and if you go a bit too far, you can just take your concealer brush, your foundation brush, and just pull it back. Um, so what I do usually when I contour is I start at the back here and I pull forward until the brush falls off my face. So, like that. Same thing on the other side. Now I'm not, I'm not into heavy contour really, unless I'm, unless I'm going to an event that calls for it, but on my day to day, not so much. So, you know, I'm not going to do it up here because I'm just not. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to leave it where it is like that, I think. Um, and then next up, we've got this really light colour in here, and I'm going to use that as the highlight. So let's have a look. Actually, that's pretty too. And that can be taken up under the brow bone. pretty as well okay so yeah I quite like that palette um, yeah I think that would definitely have a place in my kit somewhere I do like it okay so next up I'm gonna go back to the eyes just briefly because I bought this so I'm gonna put it on this is I love liquid eyeshadow so this is elf's version of a liquid eyeshadow it's a bit metallic -y, if you can see that it's actually quite sparkly Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit like right in the centre of my lids. Sparkles. I'm just going to use my finger, move it about. It's actually when you spread it out with your finger, look it's quite sheer again. Even though on my hand it looked like there was a lot of, a lot of colour. It's actually quite sheer once I spread it out. I'm sure if I put it on heavier, it would be, it would be heavier. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Maybe I'll do another tutorial with this particular color that I can do it a bit heavier and we can see like how far we can go with it. Okay, next I purchased the No Budge Retractable Liner. That's a statement, No Budge. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do So you're gonna warm it up on my hand first. It does go on quite nice. I'm just gonna concentrate that on the outer edges of my eyes and then I'm gonna take my Delium uh, 762 angle brush and I'm just going to blend it in. Like this, um, I can feel it drying almost as I'm using it. But you do have a bit of working time, which is good. I actually like it, it's nice. Okay, and then I'm going to do my usual underneath into that waterline. And then I'm just going to finish this eye with the e.l.f. Length and Volume Mascara. Now I normally put primer on, um, but I'm going to not do that today, just so I can see how this actually sits. It's got like a uh, more of like a like a dome-shaped wand than a straight wand. Don't mind that. separates the lashes nicely. Actually this dome shape makes it quite easy to get to the bottom lashes.
Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. It's definitely easier sometimes to pull your eye over, especially if you're like me and you're getting on a bit um, and you just need the surface to be that little bit smoother. Not 18 anymore. <clears throat> You love that when you miss the mascara lid and you just put it all over your hand. Awesome. <laughs> okay, um, I did actually get a liquid highlighter. I know I put a little bit of powder on because I forgot. So we're going to do that anyway. Liquid highlighter with vitamin E. All right, let's have a wee look. I think it gives you a nice little glow. It's nice and thin too, it's not so heavy. I am noticing a few little sparkles on my face now, which I think are from that eyeshadow that I put on. So there is a little bit of a fallout issue there. Um, I mean, I don't mind. Sometimes there being sparkles on my face, if I'm honest. Don't hate it. Okay, so the next thing I got was the e.l.f. Uh, stick blush. This one is in glistening peach so I'm gonna go ahead put a bit of that on my cheeks it's actually quite soft when you put it on so be careful um, not to do a massive on your face because you might end up with way too much blush this has got a little bit of a sheen to it as well probably a little more sheen than I would normally wear I like it. I don't mind that. Where's me the foundation? Oh, I'm losing everything. Oh, there it is. Okay. Like, as this um, concealer is wearing on my skin, bearing in mind it's not foundation, so I can't judge it on its all over the skin properties I think I would like to try the foundation because I feel like this all over my skin there's still like a fair few imperfections it's slightly the wrong color um, but my face my face feels nice though it feels nice and hydrated which is good which I always love okay and the one more thing that I bought was a lipstick so this is called, I can't read that, something satin, classic. Okay, this is the color we're looking at. There was quite a few colors in the range, but there wasn't, there was quite a few, a lot of products were sold out actually. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't have a full range to choose from. So I chose this one, which I think is gonna go well with my complexion. love a good terracotta rusty brownie color love it um that feels really nice feels really creamy um the test is always if it kind of separates and does some weird stuff like on the inside of my lips for me um i am just going to add a little bit of bronzer to myself which is the well people um which is the loose powder that i like Okay. 
mind you, it's raining outside today, so I don't know why I care to look sun kissed. But I do. Um, okay. I mean, I give, I'm gonna give Elf. Uh, I'm gonna give Elf a big thumbs up. I think if you have, I think most people have it. Um, this isn't an ad, by the way, so you don't have to buy any of these products, and these are completely my own opinions. Um, but it's really, really inexpensive. So if you are on a budget, I would 100% recommend it. And I'll definitely be incorporating some of these things, especially the brow products and the contour palette I really like. This lipstick does feel really good, so hopefully it stands the test of time. Um, you know, the concealer, my skin feels nice and hydrated, so, you know, once I establish the right colour for me, I think I would definitely include that and let's see how the eyeshadow wears um i can get back to you on how it will work so i hope you've enjoyed that video and um i'll see you next time bye guys